Hey friends, welcome back to Creator Best Life for a brand new video. I'm Kimani, and as you can see by the title and what I'm wearing, it is officially fall. And I don't mean fall as in the fall solstice, but it's fall here in our hearts because this video is coming out September 1st, and please drag me if it does not because I can be late, okay? But today we're gonna talk about a bit of decorating, some fun, cozy things that we really enjoy. We're gonna do a little dessert. We're making maple pecan cinnamon rolls. We're gonna do a fun festive drink. We're gonna set the mood with our diffuser. We don't do candles in this house anymore because we have cats. And I'm gonna share a bit of my favorite fall movies, TV shows, as well as podcasts and books. So, what's it gonna take for you to hurry up and hit the like button? <laughs> Honestly, what is taking so long? Please hit the like button. Please share with a friend who would enjoy content like this. Please comment down below if you are having a good time. Hit the notification bell so that you are alerted every single time I post a new video because it's fun here. And most importantly, subscribe so you let me know that you're having a great time here and I'm doing a good job. Now let's go ahead and welcome fall. So first order of business, we're gonna make ourselves a nice fall drink. It is currently really warm outside. So I'm gonna make a peach matcha lemonade. That's gonna be fire because I love getting those from Starbucks. And then we're gonna set the mood with some scents. We're gonna turn the diffuser on. It's gonna smell amazing in here. And then we're gonna get started with decorating because that's my favorite part. <laughs> Another one of my favorite parts about fall is finding nice cozy things to put around your home. And the first thing I can think of is getting an awesome throw blanket because it just makes you feel like you're home from school. I don't know why it just, Getting like a half day or a day off from school in the fall was just the best thing ever. I don't know why, but I'm sure everyone can relate. And it's probably my favorite thing to snuggle up in. Another great thing is wearing something nice and cozy. I'm wearing my spooky season sweatshirt that I got. Um, where did I find this thing? I think I found it at Timu. Love it, super cute. It's got pumpkins on it and it just makes me feel really festive. So that's why I'm wearing this today. Thought it was fitting sweatpants, obviously. You can also wear some nice cozy pajamas. I'm a huge fan of wearing pajamas all day if you're gonna work from home. And another thing I like to do is make some warm tea, like a matcha latte or a peach tea. It could be anything, apple cider. Ugh, the possibilities are endless because I don't drink coffee, but I love that it's so many other options that you can use. I even just make warm water and lemon because it's just really good for you and it tastes fire. Moving into a bit of things that I'd like to do this season would be to get some apple cider, probably go apple picking, um, apple cider donuts, and probably go for a brisk hike. I cannot wait. Yes, I can, because I love warm months, but I also love the fall between like September and October because November it starts getting super cold. But just having a turtleneck on because I am a turtleneck queen and throwing on a nice vest on top of that with some leggings and some walking shoes, go on your hike, get you some hot cocoa or apple cider, have a little coffee day with your friend, family, significant other. I don't, I don't know how to describe it. It's just amazing. Okay, so foods, which is probably my top favorite. I know I said decorating was my favorite part, but food is number one. It's always gonna be number one, which is why I've been working out and trying to eat right. So we've got a couple of recipes that we're gonna do in this video. First, I told you guys that we're gonna be making maple pecan cinnamon rolls. Fire, wanted to try it. Didn't want the original version because that can get kind of boring for me and I never really liked cinnamon rolls like that. So I wanted to try different flavors that I actually enjoy and see how I like that with cinnamon because I like the smell of cinnamon. I love it in oatmeal and like apple pie, but I'm not like a cinnamon bun, type of girl or like snickerdoodles and stuff. That's not my thing. I'm a chocolate girl. We're gonna try the cinnamon rolls. We're also making a fire cob salad. I made it a couple of times throughout the summer and it is like really good. It's delicious and it's got a lot of flavor in it and it's not super um, like, it's not carb heavy cause it's no croutons or anything. I just make like some potato slices cubed potatoes. I just pop that in the oven, get that going and nice and crispy. 
and throw that in because you gotta have a little bit of carbs with it because I usually do smoothies first thing in the morning and then I'll eat the salad with a little bit of potato and that'll hold me over. So we're gonna do that because it's one of those meals that's like super enjoyable. You also get a little bit of dessert when you can. And then I also wanted to try my hand at making some homemade marshmallows because I'm not a huge fan of corn syrup not high fructose corn syrup or any of the corn syrups, and I'm trying to make meals and consume stuff that does not include that. So, so that's why I tend to make a lot of stuff at home. It's just healthier for you. You know how much sodium, how much sugar, everything, all the ingredients for the most part. And I would say that it saves you money, but that is no longer the case because capitalism. So I'm gonna try that out, see how it goes, and maybe we can have a little hot chocolate or something. I don't know, maybe I'll save it and make Rice Krispie treats or something. We'll see because I have a few other fall desserts that I want to make for September as well as for October. Some of the other foods, like I mentioned, that I really want to have this season would be apple pie, chili. I want to try my hand at making some apple cider donuts. Don't know how that's going to work out, but I want to make my own apple cider as well. And we'll see how that goes because we got some stuff from the backyard. I'm growing. I've grown some spinach. The spinach is coming in nicely. It looks amazing. I have three jalapeno peppers that have come in. And it's a little embarrassing that it's only three, but this is my first time having a successful garden. Last year, I tried to grow some seedlings and it just did not work out. Everything died. This year, stuff died the first time I tried it and then I replanted some more seeds and it's successful. Matt helped me plant the seeds again, threw them outside, let God do what he does with nature and it's thriving. So I'm really happy about that. We've got some stuff, got some basil, cilantro out there. So everything's gonna have to start coming in uh, as it gets colder. But I'm just really excited that we'll be able to have some salads, throw some spinach and some smoothies, throw in some of these jalapeno peppers, eat that with some popcorn or something. Like I, next year I'm really going in because I want to pickle stuff. So I hope that I can get it all going and I've you know found the key to success for these plants so that I can have an abundance next year, but I'm super duper excited with how it's turned out. Okay, so being very on brand, I cannot have a video without talking about a movie, a TV show, or a book. So what I'm gonna do is show you a couple of options of what's on my watch list, my reading list, and what I'm listening to on podcast. I hope that's good with you because I'm gonna do it anyway. I've got my handy dandy phone with my notes app because I wrote down some of the things. So for starters in fall, we've got Remember the Titans. I have not seen that probably in like 10 years, okay? I freaking love that movie. You should watch it too. Another one that I love, it's just kind of a summer movie, but you can watch it end of August, beginning of September type, which is The Talented Mr. Ripley. That movie is chef kiss. It's so freaking good. And it kind of leads you into spooky season a little bit. Another movie you could watch is Sweet Home Alabama, Fire. You can watch Cutesy, it's not really Cutesy, but very fun. To all the boys I ever loved, those movies. You can watch Ginny and Georgia TV show, Fire. You gotta watch Dead Poet Society because why not? And The Devil Wears Prada. Why Did I Get Married? Diary of a Mad Black Woman. Come on, we have to watch Hunger Games and the Lord of the Rings series. And then in October, we're gonna watch Twilight again because nostalgia. Step Up, A Walk to Remember, 17 again, 17 again. So we're gonna watch the one with Tia and Tamara and then we're also going to watch the one with Zac Efron because you can't watch one without the other. Goodwill Hunting, The Crown, Legally Blonde, A Simple Favor, The Age of Adeline, Suits, How to Get Away with Murder, Scandal. I mean, if you really wanna watch anything that Shonda Rhimes has put on, it's a great like fall cozy type of show anyway. So why not? And another movie that's coming out is A Haunting in Venice. That sounds amazing. Another one will be Knives Out. So that's my list for watching movies and TV shows. And then for books, we're gonna read these bad boys. I have not read either one of these yet. I hear amazing things about Legendborn. And this, I heard great things about this as well, but I also really loved the cover art, so we're gonna try it. I once laughed at stories about demons, now I know that one may walk in my shadow. Sounds a little creepy, it's gonna lead us into spooky season, so highly recommend these. And I also really highly recommend Delicious Monsters. As for music and podcasts, I've really been enjoying listening to soundtracks. I know I already told you guys about the Inception soundtrack I use because I write a lot of thrillers and that just gets me in a thriller mystery type of mood and I could get through my scripts. But lately I've also been listening to NSYNC, Britney Spears, Mariah Carey, Whitney Houston, Backstreet Boys, 
Jonas Brothers. Who else am I been listening to? Usher. And then like anything R&B obsessed with that right now. So it's not so much that it's giving fall, but it's definitely that it is nostalgic and fall makes me feel nostalgic. So that's why I've been listening to that kind of music. And I also have been listening to a Disney instrumentals playlist on Spotify. As for podcasts, I've been really enjoying Penn Badgley's podcast. And those who know me know that I'm obsessed with Penn Badgley. So I will consume any piece of art that he creates. So I've been listening to his podcast called Pod Crushers that he, Pod Crushers. Pod Crushed. Apparently I've been listening to it way too much, but it's called Pod Crushed. Really cute podcast. And I also have really been loving the Sleepy Bookshelf. They've got Alice in Wonderland, Pride and Prejudice. And I was also listening to the Harry Potter books on Spotify, but they took that off. But you can also listen to it on Libby app for free if you have a library card. Matt and I also really enjoy the Dead Ass podcast. We love anything that Kev on Stage and Mrs. Kev on Stage put out. We listen to a little bit of the rewatchables as well as On Purpose. I listen to a little bit of My Favorite Murder, <laughs> Once Upon a Time, and the Scary Story podcast because that is just so freaking fun. So that really leads us into fall and spooky season for sure. I think it's really important when you think about fall to focus on what brings you joy, what makes you feel warm and fuzzy inside, what makes you excited, who makes you feel excited and warm and fuzzy inside and what your space is like. Your space is so important. Your, your circle is so important. What you focus on and spend your time on is so important to who you are as a person. And focusing on rest is what will really keep you going through this fall season. So I encourage you to get outside, get some sunshine, some vitamin D, exercise, fresh air, make sure that you're nourishing your body properly, make sure that you are nourishing your soul properly, whether that is hanging out with some of your favorite people, taking yourself out for a coffee or tea, or making some of your warm favorite drinks at home, baking, that's one of my joys because it's just something about doing stuff with your hands. And I really want to start taking acting classes again as well as a pottery class because it not only is a space to meet other people and create with other people, but it's so rewarding to see yourself making something with your own hands and seeing it go from you know, this lump of ideas and possibilities and becoming something extraordinary. And I think that that's what I love about creating an art in general, just because a story is just a lump of ideas. It's a ton of thoughts and places and names and images. And when you're done, it, it can flop. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. But on the off chance that it is a masterpiece, it's just so freaking rewarding just to have something completed, even if it's not perfect, even if it's not good. You have to start from somewhere. And I think that giving yourself the space and the grace to be a beginner and learn things and just have a good time is what we should really be focusing on in this season. So putting ourselves and our well-being first and that of the people that we love and care about is really what I want you to go into this season of gratitude and festivities with. And sure, the food is amazing, but when you look back on your memories, what are you gonna think about? Did you think about that hike you took with your best friend? Did you think about that movie night that you had with your significant other? Did you think about going apple picking and baking with your mom and your grandmother? Like, stuff that you can't get back. It's just something that I'm really focusing on this season and every season for the rest of my life. I just, uh, time is so precious and it's just really great to take a moment to slow down, enjoy yourself, but also focus on your goals. You can still hit all your goals. Like I'm still going to be working out and eating right, but I'm going to enjoy treats every now and again, because why not? You can't just go through life not enjoying things. So I hope that that's something that you resonate with and can get behind. And I hope that this video was fun for you guys. I hope that you guys found some new things that you want to consume, 
create, whether that is food or art. And I can't wait to make more videos like this for you guys and just have a great time doing it. So like I said before, don't forget to like it. Don't forget to share with a friend, subscribe if you're new. And I can't wait to talk to you guys in a brand new video. Enjoy the season, guys. Bye. What do you want to see? Hmm? <laughs>